Hey guys, it's Vince. Today in this video, we're going to be discussing a simple way to convert your NEMA 23 base motor platform to a NEMA 34 base motor platform in one simple step. This is a problem I've dealt with for over a decade now, dealing with past clients and potential clients looking to upgrade their standard chassis that they've already had working for whatever substrates they were working with and wanted to expand that level of substrates, or they wanted even more speed and performance out of the machine because of, as I've discussed in previous videos, stepper motors are not designed for speed. They actually lose speed because they're really designed for low end torque. So the faster they go, again, you lose that buffer of torque available at certain points to actually accelerate anymore. So that being said, a NEMA 34 motor is definitely going to give you that large amount of buffer of torque available so you can get them faster rapids at a cost, of course. And that cost typically came in regards to does the client or potential client go to a machine shop, have the machine modified after they disassemble the access and, you know, turn it into them and hope it comes back the way it should? Or do we go on the market, which I typically would do, and look at motor adapters? And to be quite honest, I've just never been really a fan of the ones on the market. They're just cheap. Uh, they're not well made. And honestly, a NEMA 34, the one I have here, is one of my 1700 ounce 5 amps. This is a massive motor, guys. These NEMA 34s weigh in excess of 10 pounds each. Okay, so the mounts that I've typically seen on the market, they're just really flimsy. They do use 6061, but the adapter plates just were crap. Um, that being said, I decided to come up with my own design. Um, you can see that we have internal pocketing here for the NEMA 23, so your screws will naturally sit in there. We've got a nice deep centering circle there with a couple thousands placed so we can get alignment correct. Um, to give you an idea of durability, this is 6061 aluminum anodized red and it is three quarters of an inch thick. On the inner circle, it's an extra, it's uh, 10 millimeters thick. So again, plenty of thickness. The rigidity of this piece is amazing. I mean, these are really, really well made. And again, uh, bolt right up. We just come over here and just lay it up and it's very very simple uh, you do have 18 millimeters of extension of the shaft before you're into the actual base of the plate and of course if you're actually going to mount these to your chassis you have a choice and that choice will always come with the selection of hardware and why i say that is um, I naturally can't include hardware to be standardized for all systems because I don't know what you're using it for. That being said, you will have that standoff positioning at three quarters of an inch from the actual machine. So if you bolt this directly to your machine in this platform, you're going to find that your shaft penetration is going to be about 18 mil. And as long as you have spacing in your machine on the mount, for your coupler you'll be fine if not that's a very easy solution you just use the proper length stainless standoff and you're set to go okay so again i can definitely help with the hardware once i know what i'm working with but the adapter plates are the key because number one if you want to extend machine performance going from a nema 23 to a nema 34 is a night and day difference i mean for virtually all applications these motors that I have here can easily machine a full-scale engine block with ease. So if you're working with steel, if you're looking to take a machine to an entirely different level, and believe me, I've had clients take NEMA 34s and bolt them to a 6040 chassis, which I used to think was crazy, but depending upon now how some guys are going back and rebuilding the chassis, making them more rigid, um, it's really a question of what your, your design and imagination is. Um, but overall, these are going to be the cheapest way to do it. You will not have to contact a machine shop. You will not have to worry, of course, about rigidity problems because th these are built to last. Um, that being said, like I stated earlier, you will have to let me know the hardware you require, um, unless you have your own hardware, in which case then you just need the mounts, because I will sell the mounts by themselves. If you guys do want to incorporate motors with them, I'll be more than happy to include NEMA 34s with the actual package, but without a doubt now, um, you guys have a general way to expand a machine beyond the normal realm of what's typically been available with NEMA 23 platforms and with, of course, the least intrusive method possible. And that's the main thing. Keep the cost low and make it so that the machine expands with you. And it, you will never out-expand a NEMA 34 under most general principles. Um, actually, the next size up will be NEMA 42. And I can honestly tell you there's maybe six machines that really require that kind of power. Like I said, these are a really a sweet spot as far as torque. 
Um, as far as substrates, you'll be able to machine virtually everything, and that includes titanium. I've seen Tormach machines easily machine titanium with these, so I can tell you right now it's definitely possible. So the next question is, and this is one that will always come up, and again, I look forward to talking to you about your, your application, is, is this a requirement for your system? Of course, I won't know that. You can message me. Again, I'll put my direct email at storm2313 at gmail.com. It will be in the link in the description below. Or you can contact me through my eDealer Direct eBay store. I'll put the link below for that as well, along with the link for the actual components so you can check them out. But again, guys, a lot of thought went into these because, again, I've dealt with so many of them on the market. And like I said, I, I've really shied away from a lot of them because, you know, using six or five mil thick aluminum for a motor that weighs 10 pounds, not factoring in the excess torque that these produce. I mean, you really want to deal with a heavy, heavy duty mount. And it should be something that you're looking at purchasing once. And that's what I always try to design everything I want you guys to buy one time. You know, unless a, a catastrophic, you know, accident happens, that's, you know, the one variable. But overall, I look at always making it a purchase that you buy one time and you're done, you know. And again, like I stated, this is not for everybody. This is for clients that, you know, are adjusting a Z-axis or really want to get to the next level of performance and speed in the least intrusive manner. You buy the mounts, you buy your motors, and you're, good to, you're golden. As long as the motors are supported by your drivers, you're, good, you're ready to go. So again, guys, I thank you all for your support. My subscribers, you guys are the best. I mean, you guys really have been supporting me, and I, again, I'm doing my best to support all of you. You message me any of your questions. I'll do my best to get back with you. Um, I will say again, and I, I'm still getting lots of guys that are expecting tech support at a different level. And when I say a different level, you know, when it comes to setting up your machine, when it comes to going into full detail with Mach 3 settings on hardware that you didn't purchase from me, I have to charge you for that, okay? And again, I'm stating this because it's happening more and more frequently. I have no problem whatsoever helping anybody. But again, my time is just as valuable as yours. So please just be considerate to that fact. Um, once again, I will answer all questions as they're received. I'm doing my best to stay under 24 hours because I, I always look for that um, with any vendor I deal with as well. Um, again, to all of you, thank you all. Take care.